Good morning guys, so I checked out at the Murrings Hotel. So today we've got the hire car coming. That's coming at 6.30, didn't stay up too late. There wasn't much going on at uh, Electro Rock, there was some drunk ass fire. And I just wanted to get out there. There was like six people there. The bars there pretty early and it was a Tuesday night, but Bunyan Bar, just there. There was a few people. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna be on time exactly. I think they have that island time thing where they're a bit relaxed about the time, but we'll see. So, change of plans. As you can see, I'm walking with my suitcase. The car hire company, they actually didn't have a car in today, so I've got a car for tomorrow. They only had the big SUV, which I'm not complaining about. I did get a discount on it, so I only paid like another extra thousand VAR two. So, I don't know, it's probably gonna be better because these roads are a bit shitty. There's some potholes and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go around the island tomorrow, so. Yeah, it should be a good day tomorrow, but uh, the mission for today, check into the Grand Casino. Should be a good hotel that one and then also we're going to uh we're going to try some of the local foods so we're going to head back to the markets and i haven't checked out their handicraft markets so it's just back behind me there let's um at least drop off our luggage Alrighty, so luggage is dropped off and uh a local approached me and he was asking what i was doing tomorrow he asked me if i wanted to go on a waterfall tour which is a bit strange because that's the first time this has happened here in vanuatu you see that type of thing in southeast asian countries a lot and an Aussie bloke, he asked me what did he ask me because it's quite a strange thing here I'm guessing and he thought it could have been drugs or stuff and even asking for waterfall tours, whatever, that's um, quite uncommon here from what I've seen for, that's the first time I've noticed it so I don't know, he could be legit, he could just be hustling trying to make some money but anyway, just thought I'd let you know. I don't know if that's common or not. So I've got six hours to kill till check-in. I've done most of the things around in Port Vila town. Just had a quick look there at the handicraft markets. Not everything was open, but so just having a look around the shops here to use up some time. We've got the Vanuatu gear, which is cool, the rasta colours. So a lot of these shops are owned by the Chinese people, but every country I go to, I need to get a magnet and a like a bigger item. I think the bigger item from Vanuatu is gonna have to be a carver bowl. So I'm gonna switch over some Australian dollars and look at the competition we have here. We have the weapon, Bexco, and the number one currency exchange. You see these number one currency exchanges everywhere? They're supposed to be the best. I don't know, but who knows who has the best rates. So we picked up our magnet for Vanuatu. So got the two people dancing, well one person dancing, one person playing the ukulele it looks like but spoiled for choice i was trying to get one that represents the country a lot there's a lot of them that had like cruise ships and stuff because this is visited a lot by people who come off the cruise ship so anyway just had to pick one so just went with this one so i picked me up this sugar-free bee at a pharmacist and it costs 790 far too which equals 10 20 australian dollars are a piece 10 dollars 20 10 20 now, maybe because they had to import them, I obviously didn't know the price, so I wouldn't have got it. And it's only 330 mils, it's not the big 500 mil one. 1020. Even it's expensive to get an $8 like imported like ghost energy drink or one of those G fuels or something like that. But 1020, that's actually that's that's an absolute joke. 1020, I, I can't get over that. Bloody hell, I was just watching the locals there behind me. They're playing a game where you throw the ball, those silver bolt balls, and there's a little blue ball, and you gotta get it as close to the blue ball as possible, and you can knock the other person's balls out the way. What's that like? Curling. I know. Locals getting after it. I don't know if they put bets on. Maybe they put bets on. Yeah, just taking it slow because like I've said there's not much else left to do in this town so I was planning on getting that car but that's not to be so I was talking to old mate at uh, Electro Rock last night and I was asking if Electro Rock and Cublet were the two only like nightclub here in uh, Port Villa and he said um, Anchor Inn was another one uh, there was this place called Voodoo but I think they've changed the name it says Voodoo Rules I think that's the other night place yeah because when I was walking past on the way I heard music going up and there was some like blue neon lights on the outside so it might be another place to check out I don't know if I'm going to continue clubbing but picked up a coconut cake so I'm going to taste this it's apparently one of like the dishes here yeah let's find a spot near the water 
can taste that some coconut cake. But as you can see up there, there's an outdoor area for the bar. Okay, so we've got a coconut cake here. So apparently this is one of the dishes here in Popula. So it looks like a type of roll you get at your bakery, like a like a sweet one. Looks pretty good. Looks moist. This only costs 100 baht at a true store. Let's buy it this bad boy. Fresh, gully, light. Oh, that's good. I don't know if you could see that, but it's like a light coconut filling. That's real good for 100 bar too. That is solid. Official rating on the coconut cake is a 7.9. So I was just chilling there by the bay, and some guy named Jerry came up to me, and he was doing the typical where you from all that oh yeah i've been to australia i used to live in this place and all that and basically he wanted five bucks to call his family so that's two potential well that's a scammer asking for i just said i didn't have cash but he didn't get aggressive or anything but yeah so it's just like little petty things that you need to be aware of just use common sense but other than that everyone's basically been very friendly but you're still just going to use common sense so yeah just say you don't have cash if old mate jerry comes up to you so we got four more hours to kill till check-in at the hotel so i'm basically just walking i'm heading to the tana rasset plaza probably just get me not an iced coffee and just chill kill some time because there's not a whole lot left to do here i was considering checking out a movie but at the cinema here but there's like nothing on and the all the movie times were later on in the day so that iced coffee there cost 650 damn rip off i've been playing myself getting ripped off in the meantime all the vendors are here at the handicrafts market so we'll take a look around probably not going to buy anything but it's really cool to look around they got some impressive stuff So you see a lot of these weavings. It's one of the art forms here. And these are real impressive. Look at these bad boys. Look at this one. So these should be safe to get through the Australian border because Australia's real picky with that type of thing. So, but they have signs letting you know that it should be all sweet. So this is Lop Lop? Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Alrighty, so I finally found Lop Lop here at the Port Villa Market. So we got two, the sweet one. This one cost 150 and then we got this chicken one. So the chicken one cost 250. We'll start off with the savory one. And I think a cruise ship's approaching, so might be mayhem soon here in Port Vila. Alrighty. It's like a sort of gooey, kind of mushy, pastry type of texture. It looks like there's spinach on there. Bits of cheese. So I have to get into the chicken, but it's pretty nice. It's like, look at that base there. I'm enjoying this so far. So I've got the bones in here. So it's like a whole meal, this thing. I'm just gonna break some off. It's like gooey. And there's just like a big piece of chicken on there. Pretty damn good, that one. I will taste a sweet one now. So let's just eat this. It's a bit hard with one hand, but we'll see how we go. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, the texture, it's like a gooey pastry. It's kind of like a pastry, but if it was undercooked, Kind of, kind of like chewy, and the taste is like sweet. I love the topping, I'm not sure what it is, but it's nice. Blah, blah, it's a nice dish, so here you can find out the popular markets, just find me in. That is pretty good. We're gonna see if we can check into our hotel now, it's about one o'clock. It's supposed to be two, but 
Hopefully they'll let us in our room. Alrighty, so checked into the Grand Hotel. So got in an hour earlier. So even if it says check in at two, always just ask if it's a reasonable time, like an hour before or so. Just ask them if your room's ready. You never know. And in this case, it was ready. So I'll get up the price, but first let's take a tour. So this is nice straight away. It's nice and air con. Oh, look at that. You can see through. Oh, look at this. This looks um rugged. Is that the right word to describe these soaps? Rugged? Oh, we've got our own private, the, the double, double rolls. Wait, so where do I shower? So that's the bath. In here. Nice. Looks like it's a solid uh, shower head. Oh, we got the safes, everything you need. Iron board. Well, we got the wine glasses. Nice bed, I love this. Beautiful, so nice and cool in here. And the view, I'm sure this view's gonna be epic. We can find how we... Oh, nice. It's a shame I'm not higher up. This is the first level. Take a look at this view here. Whoa. Yeah, I, I definitely noticed the difference in heat because I've got the aircon on, so. But there's only like six levels. But look at that. Nice. Yeah, so this place is good if you get it at a good price. So I paid 384 for Australian dollars for two nights. So what's that? 150, like one, 190, 190 Australian per night. So yeah, it's actually kind of expensive. So this is the souvenir I picked up. It cost 995 baht. Thought it was pretty cool. They had different sizes. One, the bigger ones were more expensive. But this is my Vanuatu souvenir. Got to get one in every country. It's had a nice, refreshing swim there. But it is blocked. It's quite annoying. The one small critique about the pool is, I feel like they should have towers down there, and like you just drop them off in a bin once you're done. Small critique there, but I feel like this would be an epic spot to watch the sunset. So. I know I might chill here for the sunset. Or well, I might be out for dinner, but anyway. Got the Coke, there's no sugar on deck, of course. Anyway, we're gonna go to some French restaurant soon. Uh, I'm gonna go to a carver bar and I'm gonna check out the pokies, the casino, so. Yeah, I don't know if I can film in the casino, but um, yeah, we're gonna go to a carver bar, so I'm keen on that. So right now I'm heading to Ronnie's carver bar. I need to numb myself after that big loss there at the casino. So hopefully the carver here in Vanuatu does the trick. So Ian, I met on the first day here, said that there's some festival going on. I don't know if this is it. This looks like a festival. I'm gonna have a quick look around. Got some music going on, some stalls. We might pick up a snack, we'll see what, what happens. Hello. There wasn't too much going on there just some stalls that I have. They were selling like pork buns, fried chicken, peanuts, little snacks. Yeah, we're almost at the carver joint now. I'm excited. Love me some, some mud drink. Tastes so good. So I think we have arrived here at Ronnie's Carver Bar. Let's check it out. It says uh, Rita, Rita number Carver Bar. Hello, is the carver ready? Yes. Yeah. Over here? Hello. Can I please get a cup of kava? Okay. Um, what do you recommend? I've had it before in Fiji. Um, I want to fill it a bit, so like um, like a medium amount. So we have for fifty baht two upwards, like hundreds, hundred fifty. Um, I'll get um a hundred worth. And that's it. That's it there, thank you. Okay. Uh, doesn't taste the best, but this one's strong. Yes. Stronger than Fijian Carpa. Yes, yeah, better. <laughs> 
I can feel it on my lips. It's starting to numb my lips and it, it burns a little bit. <laughs> Where do you get this kava from? Where are the trees? Santo. Santo? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. We finished it all. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you later. There we go. Rota number kava bar. All right, so first of all, that tastes like ass, like mud water. Oh, uh, my, my lips are like, has, it kind of has like some type of burning numbness sensation. Like my lips, I feel, they feel like they're like swollen and I've got a disgusting taste in my mouth I don't have like I feel like I can function normally it's just the numbness in my in my like in my in the I can't even talk in the lips maybe that's a, a symptom but anyway oh that tastes like shit that was a big serving I remember the one I had in Fiji it was just like a little shot but that was a hundred uh, vatu worth Anyway, we're going to get some dinner now. I want to get that taste out of my mouth ASAP. So we're heading to that French restaurant. But it's good being around here. It's like a little uh, village. Oh, I think it's... My, my, my lips are like numb. Well, that was, that was an experience. All right, let's... Oh, I want to get some food into me. I think you're supposed to do it on an empty stomach, which I bet had a somewhat empty stomach so oh, oh that taste not ideal but as you can see I didn't bitch out I had the whole thing I wonder if I'll make it if I don't pass out or something but I can I feel like I can walk normally it's just this weird sensation in the in the lips I don't know I don't know if that was a bitch amount I didn't get the smallest one the smallest one was like 50 worth but yeah, kava here in Vanuatu, it's supposed to be a lot stronger and better than the kava in Fiji. And they sell it in the powders you can get as like a souvenir. I don't know if there's any like health benefits. I wonder like if there's any... Oh, look, we got another kava bar here. Double bubble. Oh, I've just had uh, kava, so... It's like kava, kava bar hopping. That's a thing, actually. Um... I don't know if you'd want to do that. I remember when I had kava in Fiji, because we were sitting down, I remember once I stood up, I had like pins and needles and I was, I was a bit like sort of dizzy, sort of wobbly, but I don't know because I was already standing, but yeah, no effects to like my, my functioning. And it's starting to wear off that sensation on the lip. I've never been down this part of town before. So yeah. Check it out. So I came across this Orbon Mokmashe shopping center. And this one's huge. Compared to the one downtown, this one's massive. So I'm not going to see But it's packed in here. All right, so basically all the signs of the carver have worn off. I've just got that mud water taste in my mouth. But we're here at the French restaurant. I don't even know how to pronounce it. La, La Horse, La Horse -da something so let's go in on bus and go to it so this restaurant's kind of fancy i ordered the la pizza exotica opolet which is pizza with chicken tomato capsicum pineapple topped with cheese that cost 15.90 for two and then i went with a entree coconut crab cream soup which was 8.90 for two and there's a 12% we can get some focus action there was a 12% uh, fee that's added on later so that's not included in, in the price so it's kind of pricey but and I feel like I'm, I'm rude because I can't speak French but all I know is bonjour bonjour madame 
Fun fact, my grandfather was actually born in France, Marseille, so yeah. Does that count as being French? Everyone's claiming nationalities these days, even if they're like 6%, but anyway. I'm excited on some Woolworths well, pizza. French people making pizza. Well, they've been a while when the owner here is French. I was gonna get uh, the flying fox at, and the quail. They're two dishes here in Vanuatu that they're like local dishes, but they were kind of expensive. They were like 2,680 Batu, so I'll get like the same amount, get like a pizza and a coconut crab soup. I feel like this bread here makes up for the high prices, so I've got all this bread to myself. The benefits of solo travel right here. Look at this. Oh, yes. Let's get some of this bread into us. That bread is good. They do good baguettes over here. This kind of reminds me of Vietnam. Because of the French influence. Like they had the good French rolls on their barn me, so. Yeah, good bread over here in Vanuatu. Okay, so our coconut crab soup has arrived. Let's give this a taste. Ooh. That's nice. Creamy, crabby taste. It's rich. I think we've got a big piece of crab here. Ooh, look at that. Let's get, get into this crab. There wasn't really any meat on that. It was more so for the taste, but I'm gonna be dipping some of that bread in here. But that's nice and pleasant, creamy. Not too creamy, but subtle, crabby taste. It's heartwarming. Oh. That goes well with the bread. Dip it in there. that pizza there that was pretty solid nice thin crust crispy simple ingredients it's pretty good that pizza but total dinner cost 2850 baht so i feel like that's reasonable it's a nice restaurant in there and it equals about 36 australian i'm sure they have good steaks and good french food flying fox and whatnot but i think we're gonna get ice cream now so i've seen some here at the Obon Mashe and I said mercy like he doesn't even speak English the manager there like I don't know I feel bad but then again I said mercy I tried so I didn't end up getting me an ice cream because the line was too big but anyway I'm gonna wrap up the video here appreciate you for watching it if you like it please give it a like and if you want to see more subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog well, it won't come out tomorrow but the next day because we're getting our suv and we're going around the island that's going to be epic gonna to want to stay tuned for that and yeah i'll see you in the next video look at this sunset bloody bloody beautiful bloody love vanuatu see you later